Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my friends from the press, I speak to you this morning from my Motoko residence. I, I came into Motoko to attend some, uh, to attend some uh, my family, attend some events. And uh, I got in here uh, yesterday. This morning, there was some uneasy movement along this street. That neighbors called my attention that they see a lot of strange faces like a build up of talks along the street. And uh, I don't have a criminal life. My compound was empty. I come up. I don't. I don't do toggery. I don't participate in toggery. I don't hire talks. So I say, ah, what will talks be doing on the street? And I dismiss it. Then at about uh, nine o'clock, I said, let me go and see my mother-in-law. But before then, a young man called me with a number that I don't know and told me that I have done him a favor before, but that I should be careful if I'm at home. That they have instruction. They have instruction from either government or some quarters to attack my house and attack me. And I dismiss that I have no problem with anybody. Now, as I don't drove out, I drove out with my security personnel to see my mother-in-law. As I just entered my mother-in-law's house, the next thing, I, my phone was ringing. My nephew picked up the phone and said, ah, they said the house is, our house is under attack. They shot at the gate, they forced, they shot at the gate and forced the gate open. They climbed the second gate and have tied up the security man, took his phone, have entered the compound, and we are shouting, where is he? Where is he? One bullet. We solved this article problem. And my senior brother was standing there and they descended on him. The next thing they started doing was to shoot up all these cars, to use their, their, maybe the boot of their gun, and started destroying these cars. They got to the front door, they hit the front door, they could not access the house. And so they started retreating. And so I'm sure you can see the destruction. So my worry is that what <coughs> is my offense that the people will come to my compound, a people that not live here. We only I only work for Tiku, yes. I am a Tiku supporter. But what is the purpose? What have that got to do with attacking my house in a view to kill me? This is democracy. I'm a Democrat. I don't have any plan to harm anybody. And so I don't want the press to see this. I called the police commissioner separately. He did not pick my call. I called the director of SSS. I called the IG sent pictures of what have happened here to everybody. No one has responded. I only see two gentlemen policemen who come here to say the, I, the CP ask them to come and assess what happened here. I say, in a distress situation, now only one man worker come. That is the situation. And so that is what happened. The rest, we are looking and trying to find out more detail. Thank you.
Did you capture it completely?